And there we go. Up next, we move it along. Jason Clark to take on Oliver Evans. And we slide motorsports to take on Washloo, 440 horsepower at one Jay-Z to take on a 700 horsepower at two Jay-Z from Oliver Evans. Yeah, this is Oliver Evans' uh, second car as well, or third car even. How many third cars has this car guy built? Ten cars. He's building all of the cars. He's got all of the cars. But this is the car that he won the 2019 Pro Championship in. So he knows this car very, very well. And uh, brand new engine in this car for 2020. We see Evans scrubbing the tyres. He pulls up to the back of Jason Clark. And Jason Clark knows he's got a battle on his hands right now. But the higher qualifier, Clark knows that there is a potential there to overturn anything that Evans done last year. But we know Evans, once he gets in battle mode, it's on. Game is on. You can see him right up onto the side of that JZ powered Mazdaar at seven. Nice from Clark on that initiation. Shallow angle. He's down with the handbrake. Car washes out to outside zone three. And that gives Evans the opportunity to jump straight up onto the rear wheel. And you can see Oliver Evans now squeezing as he starts to relieve himself all over the side of Jason Clark's Master RX7. They come through the centre of the circuit. Look at this from Evans right up onto the door. Almost overcooked it there. Almost put too much into it as Jason Clark puts it to the wall across the line. I think there was a, a few scrappy moments there from Oliver Evans as, a, as a, there's a cut the track down by clip five completely out of the uh, out of the zone to keep up there. I don't know whether he's... Uh, is he panicking? I think he, he was panicking. Jason I think he was panicking a little bit there. Jason Clark, though, it wasn't the cleanest from Jason Clark, but Oliver Evans, he certainly made a few mistakes. Let's see if he can do a little bit cleaner in the in the lead run and uh, give Jason Clark an opportunity to get nice. Well, I know that us. Oliver Evans would have gripped this car up to the max this weekend. Now it has. Jason Clark got the grip and the pace in that car to keep up with Oliver Evans. He shortcuts the track. And look at this, already separation. Nice big clutch kick initiation from Oliver Evans and a bit of distance opens up again. A handbrake there from Oliver Evans as he comes down into outside zone three. High up on the bank goes Evans. And separation of the young man absolutely fires down, dropping a wheel onto the gravel as Oliver Evans squeezes, dropping outside zone six and just barely making seven. But big separation, no answer from Jason Clark right now as they go to the wall and across the line. Yeah, I mean, that was a... Uh a reasonable run from Oliver Evans, but Jason Clark just had absolutely no answers for that whatsoever. That was far too far apart. They say a car length here, and that was several, several. It wasn't. It wasn't as close as what we would have liked, was it? You know, no. but no, I'm not going to get. It, I can't get excited about about battles like that. I'm but sorry. this is the thing that I said. I, I I didn't think that Jason Clark had the the pace in that car to keep up with Evans. I know how fast Evans' car is from watching it earlier in practice, and I just didn't think that. Jason Clark had the pace, but look, it wasn't clean from both these guys. So, you know, who knows what way the judges will go. Decisions in. Oh, one vote for Oliver Evans. Oh, there we go. Unanimous. Oliver Evans gets the win and takes out Jason Clark. And uh, Washloo, one score in the in the bag for those guys, for the team yep. constructors. Right, yeah. Team Washloo there, selling uh, B-Days, I believe. Do they sell actual toilets? Uh, I'm not going to get into it because it's a whole realm of, uh, you know, we go back to the one more time battle of Nera just to take on Evans. They're both going to be sat there, especially Oliver Evans going, right, right, I need to do this now. Yeah, I, mean, I really need to do this I now. Mean, I'm, I'm the champion. Yeah, I mean, I'm the I'm, champion. and uh, I own I'm, this show. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is my show. Yeah. This is my show and Nera just is thinking, well, you know, I'm, I could I could go through it to the great eight. I could, I've, I've already pushed him to it one more time. Let's see what we can do. Well, it needs to be a cleaner run this time from both our drivers. Nera just to lead Oliver Evans to give chase. There we go, they get the thumbs up and they are off the line. Evans now cannot put a foot wrong. Bootlid pops open on his S14.5 as he comes down. A little bit of room though as the separation between them opens up. Nera just puts the foot down, but he's way off track. Way, way off track. And Evans puts on the foot brake and regains himself. Now starts to work himself back into the groove as Nera just shaken after taking that car off track. And that surely to drop off with four wheels off. As Nera just fires through outside zone line down onto the wall and across the line. Oliver Evans is going to play the smart one now. He knows, knows Nera just made a massive mistake in front of him. Just knows all I need to do now is just drive the line and I think I'll... Yeah. yeah, well, I'd like to see a replay of that. I mean, was it four wheels off track? I wonder if the judges are waiting to find out um, if it was four wheels off track. Yeah, I wonder if we'll get a 
a replay of No, nope, so it looks like no, judges are quite happy with that one and uh, they want to go again. It was certainly three wheels off. Evans now to lead, Nero just to give chase. And Evans' his game plan now will just be trying to put some separation between him and Neregis just to seal the deal, just to try and write this one off to try and get himself a place in the Funk Motorsport 38 as they come flying through. You can see that's Evans' his game plan, 100%. Shortcut it though, through outside zone three. Neregis trying to shallow up the angle, apply the pressure and trying to get on the side of that Boschlu S14 as Evans Dials it in, look at him sacrificing lines, cutting the circuit to try and drive away. Never just again squeezing, shallowing up the angle, trying to find the side of that 200 SX. Yeah, Oliver Evans just a bit, just a bit shy of quite a few clips there. We're up very middle of the road. Nero just doing his very best as close as possible to him. So, I mean, some mistakes from Oliver Evans there. Whether uh, is that enough to overturn the big mistake? Then I don't know. You know, look, this is Nerejus's lead, so this is where he made the big mistake. Nice initiation. Yeah. Evans gives him some room. He's here, and then he goes. He, comes wild he goes three. Wild. That's four that. wheels off track. That is definitely four wheels off track there. So ten zero, potentially. I mean, I mean, that's I mean, the rules. That's the rules, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know. What, what, there might be another camera position. That we haven't seen. <laughs> never know. But yeah, I'm going to say, obviously, that is it. Yeah, there we go. Look, one vote for Oliver Evans, two votes for Oliver Evans. Evans gets the win and advances through. And I think he's counting his lucky stars there. Yeah, I think he I is, think really, he's counting to be his lucky stars because... I mean, if Nero just hadn't made that mistake, that would have been a much tighter battle. Yeah, that would like, have been a really very close tight. battle. Yeah, a very close battle. And uh, Nero just, Nero just, is he trying to psych out Evans? It's, <laughs> it's a bit late sure. for that, mate. <laughs> not sure. Long Stuart Anthony now to take on Oliver Evans. And uh, look, the uh, Pro Pro 2 driver is sitting there thinking, this guy won this whole show last year. Yeah, but if I can beat him. He's, he slipped under just the radar. Turn, just keep turning around. What's the next battle? Oh, he just keeps slipping under the <laughs> radar. It's again. Well, listen, uh, I mean, Oliver Evans is like, I'm going to have to get this done and dusted. I need to move on. I want to get a spot Come in the on. final four. We haven't got anyone in the final four just yet. Could it be Adley? Could it be Evans? Could Evans, could he start his championship off the way? Would He would, he would love to. He's going to have to get through this man first as they come down. You can see Evans bringing the pain already to Stuart Adley as he already jumps up onto the side. Gives him some room to maneuver for outside zone three. And now uh, Oliver Evans starts to apply the pressure. He's absolutely glued to the side of the E36 BMW. As Evans is going to maneuver himself perfectly. Around the bottom of the circuit. Nice. Oh, he oh, missed himself up massively. massively. What a huge mistake for Oliver Evans. As he shortcuts the circuit, Stuart Adley holds his composure and throws gang signs out the window <laughs> yeah. to Oliver Evans. Oh, I mean, it, Oliver Evans, he, that, that was an unbelievable chase all up until that point, which makes a massive mistake. Literally threw that whole battle away there. And I thought, uh, yeah, Stuart Adley with a, an amazing lead line there where and just gave uh, Oliver Evans all the opportunity to get up nice and close. And he made full use of that opportunity until we made a gigantic boo-boo. Well, listen, these guys are back on the start line, ready to go. And uh, look, Stuart Adley will be on the radio to the spotters, and they would have said to him, he made a huge mistake. If you can stick it to him and you can hold your composure, you could take down the 2019 champion. But look at this, big initiation from Evans. He's not messing around, Mike. He wants this one. Yeah, so massive separation already from uh, Stuart Adley. Well, Oliver Evans obviously knows he made a massive mistake, but uh, he just needs to drive away from... Uh, from Wee Stu there, and Wee Stu just uh, really nothing to answer with. Sticking on that, uh, sticking on that qualifying line like, uh, like the judges wanted, but uh, I think this one's going to come down to uh, just what's going to be. As long as that mistake from Oliver Evans earlier on wasn't too much. Well, I don't know, you know, because Stuart Asley, uh, he, he threw three wheels off track here and there. So he, he, could, be in, he could be in a sticky situation <laughs> right now. <laughs> There's there was all sorts a, of sticky situations. There's always lots of sticky situations, and uh, uh, Stuart Adsley, he, he did a he did a good job. He, he listen, he, he used all the tools in his toolbox, but unfortunately, the pace and the grip and the get up and go in uh, Oliver Evans' car is incredible. Here we go, decisions in. There we go. Evans gets the win and takes out Stuart Adsley. And yeah, despite that massive error from Oliver Evans, I, I did see Stuart Adsley dropping wheels off track and zero proximity. And that's enough to take him out of competition.
Well, let's keep this one going. Luke Barker, your first place qualifier now to take on your 2019 British Drift Championship champion, Oliver Evans. This one, well, this is for all the smack talk online. Who has really got it? Who's got the balls to take it to the wall? We're going to find out. Evans to take on Barker. And As look at Evans. He's bringing the, the aggression straight away. And Evans is not messing around. That smack talk doesn't prove nothing to him. Can you stick it to the door? Wow, yes, you look can. How close they are together in. Look at this from Oliver Evans. He's absolutely pushing Luke Barker down the hill. The small Welshman right now is getting some revenge for all the smack talk online from everybody. And look at this as Evans proves himself why he was the 2019 champion as he pushes Barker to the wall and across the line. Wow, that was absolutely unbelievable. Evans literally going, listen, I know you uh, you qualified and you, you think you're going to go against Dwayne McKeever in the final, but listen, I'm here and I'm going to stick it to you. And he really did then. Well, I mean, look at the tyre marks on the door of Luke Barker's car <laughs> because that said Tarmac Sports a minute ago it now says Tarmac Spots <laughs> wow yeah absolutely fantastic I mean Luke Barker is going to be words I can't say online but <laughs> yeah you can't he, say those he, words he, online he needs to be uh, he needs to have his A game on he certainly has, needs to have his A game on well Barker would have been on the radio to his family and the spotters and they would have said don't worry about the car stick it to the door because if you don't glue it to Evans' door right now you're going home early well, here we go. This is for a spot in the final against Dwayne McKeever. It will be Evans to lead Barker to give chase. Can your first place qualifier take down your 2019 champion? Here we go. We're about to find out off the line. And now Barker almost replaced the favour by making contact with Evans. But Evans with a big initiation fires that car through. Barker just out. Hold on to it at the moment as Evans lands the throttle through the floor and unleashes all the horsepower. And Barker has nothing, nothing to return with as he just looks down and stares at Oliver Evans driving away, tries to make a dive onto the back end, but Evans with a perfect transition up onto the wide line as Barker has no answer and they cross the line. Yeah, I mean, what can you say about that? Oliver Evans, what has happened to Oliver Evans? That was not who we saw at the start of battles, Ian. He was absolutely on form in that and really showed Luke Barker, who is the 2019 British Drift Champion. Well, listen, it's a statement. That That's a statement. You know, you win the championship he he, and everyone kind of says, did he fluke it? You know, he was kind of in the background all season and then he just rocks up at Buxton and steals the show. And Evans is like, listen, I'm not I'm in, I'm in, not into smack talk. I'm into real talk. I'm into door-on-door -door action. If you've got it, bring it. And, and Evans, well, I mean, you cannot deny that. He absolutely bought it. Yeah, he absolutely owned that battle from start to finish. And now, because I've said that, the judges are going to go the other way. No, I don't think they can. <laughs> I don't think they can. In with that. And I think even Luke Barker knows as he gets out of the car. <laughs> and the Oliver Evans, this is how cheeky this young man is. He's just checking out the door marks. He's like, oh, yeah, there, that was me. Is there one on this one? Yeah, there's one there as well. And <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just Watch that this. Incredible. So we just lose the replay for a second. And uh, yeah, there we go. Those guys back. Here we go. Just trying to get a replay. I do believe the judges want to see a replay potentially, or, or just us. I think for... we. Ju I think we just want to see how close that really was. Oliver Evans was just glued, glued. <laughs> Look at Luke Parker. He's like, yeah, that kind of showed me a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at the the tire on the door. Unreal, unbelievable driving from uh, Oliver Evans. Uh, incredible stuff. I mean, Luke Barker did have a, he had a really good lead run to give Oliver Evans that opportunity to of get in there. But, yeah, uh, but this is first place qualifier, so we expected nothing less yeah. from, from Luke Barker. We knew he was going to lay down a really, really nice lead line, and he did lay down a really nice lead line, but unfortunately for Barker, Evans just brought the proximity game 110%. But Judge is still deliberating this one, so is there stuff that they see that we didn't see? I have no idea. Oliver Evans just seems to react to each and every driver that he comes against and just do that. It just it seems to know what he needs to do in every single battle and, and then just do it. And I, I guess that's why he is the uh, current British Drift champion. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, current and defending. And, uh, uh, well, I mean, listen, if he gets into the final, it'll be the 2018 and the 2019 champions going against each other. I mean... And, and listen, I'm not one for spreading rumours, but 
Oliver you are. Evans. That's a lie. Isn't Oliver it? Evans and Dwayne McKeever have history. Yeah. They have they, a past. There's been some. There's been some, there's been some stuff that's yeah, happened things, in the past. Things have happened in the past. There's been some on track and off track rivalry between the two, but. Uh, yeah. Paul Howard has opened up a drift series, a drifter force for his whole entire crew of DY powered engines. <laughs> Just uh, wandering around the pits at the minute on the live stream, have a look at what's going on. Yeah, so as you can see, some of these guys all uh, packing up and getting set ready to leave Darren Wiles' car on the trailer and a power slide up. I love that number plate. <laughs> CR fifty one PLE. What is it? I think you know what it means. CR fifty one PLE. Yeah, CR fifty one PLE. That's, That's what exactly I thought. what it means. Yeah. There we go. Still no decision. Oh, here we go. Decisions in. Slide them left for Barker. Right for Evans. Oh, and one vote for a one more time. One vote for Oliver Evans. This one comes down to head judge Simon Perry. What way is he going to go? Oh, and it's a one more time! It's a one more time! There's no camaraderie between these two. There is just a literally two men Venom. going at war. <laughs> right now. Luke Barker as well. I mean, he said he'd turn the car up to 100. He yeah. said he had the nitrous bottle fully open. Those tyres are fully... He has literally cool. let the tyres all the way down. And now Oliver Evans, what he says, well... Listen, I'm, I mean, I stuck it to you before. I don't know what more you need me to do to prove, but I'm going to give it a shot. And, uh, you know, there's a reason why I am the 2019 British Drift Champion. And now you're playing in my category, the big boys category. Let's see if you can swing it with the big boys. We give them the green light. They are ready to go. Thumbs up all around Evans to chase down Barker. This is for a spot in the final. Who is going to take it? Your first place qualifier or oh, your 2019 champion. Oh, a little bit of separation there on initiation. Evans gives him some room this time. There's a lot cleaner from both of these guys now as Evans creeps up onto the side once again of that 350Z. Shallows up the angle and once again starts to write his name all over the door of Luke Barker's 350Z. He's glued to the side is Oliver Evans as they transition into outside Eight. Now and claws him back, a little wobble from both of those guys, but he pushes hard on the accelerator and across the line. Yeah, he was almost there. He's uh, not quite as close, I don't think, as he was on that on that last battle, but uh, definitely Oliver Evans knocking on the door of Luke Barker saying, listen, you're going to have to fight really hard, mate. You're going to have to fight really hard. But yeah. Luke Barker, maybe got a little bit more pace now. He let those tyres down. He's turned everything up to the max. Can he change? Can we see a little bit of roll reversal? Exactly that, yeah. We can tell that Barker had gripped that car up, uh, you know, it, uh, and uh, Evans are calling over the start line. Marshall, are both guys calling over the start line, Marshall, so not sure what's going on. Just, uh... Oh, and Evans shaking his head, so Evans not happy with something. Evans not happy with something. Did, did Barker just hit him? Did Luke Barker just pull up and hit him? Is that what it is? If we could get the camera down there, did Luke Barker just pull up? Yeah, Luke Barker, so aggressive, he just drove oh, no. up and knocked the bumper clean off Evans's car, as if to say, huh, you mark my car, I'll mark your car. <laughs> no, it's all well and good doing it. You've got, to do it in the you've got to do it in the battle. You've got to take that bumper off on a transition. And uh, Luke Barker not bothered. He's not bothered about a few body panels. He absolutely does not care. All he's thinking about now is how close I have got to be to Oliver Evans to get through to the final well, of round one. Well, it looks like our start line marshal has got that bumper back on and ready to go. They get the green light. It's Evans now to lead out Luke Barker. And Luke Barker knows what he needs to do. Those doors, well, they need a tyre mark on them to seal the deal, to show the judges he is worthy of a place in the final against Dwayne McKeever. They get the thumbs up all round. Here we go. The final spot in the final to go. Evans to lead out Barker. And here we are. Oh, nice initiation from both guys. But you can see Barker in the middle of the circuit when he initiated. Now Evans finds just about outside zone three. He's trying to evade Luke Barker. Luke Barker pushing up close up onto the door, trying to leave a time up. But no opportunity this time as Oliver Evans hammered out on the throttle. Looks like he's shortcutting the circuit ever so slightly. Evans trying to get away, but Barker now making a whole host of errors and across the line. Luke Barker showing some 
some real desperation in the uh, in the later stages of that battle. We could see that he wasn't quite on the door, wasn't quite as close as Oliver Evans was to him. So uh, cut the track just slightly just to try and make that up a little bit. But uh, I don't know, is that enough to uh, enough to sway either way? I think this is even closer than the previous battle here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. If I'm honest with you, it's just I thought I knew. I thought I knew on the first battle. I thought, you know, in my mind, I kind of had an idea of who I thought um, I took the win, and um, and that was purely just because of the aggression. You know, I I thought Evans had won the first battle because of aggression, but judges said no. Both guys making mistake. Evans missed clips at clipping zone one. Um, you know, and, and listen, you can't be dropping clipping zones and going through into the final. So. Uh, <sighs> That is it. Oh, here we go. One vote for Evans. Decision's in. Two votes. Evans in. Evans gets the win. Evans gets the win. Luke Barker out. He has to play for third and fourth place and thumbs up and he knows. So, um, listen, incredible stuff for this young Welshman, Oliver Evans. And he come in at the last round and stole the show. He was there all in the background for the whole of the season. But yeah. then just at, at that last show, he just came in and just absolutely smashed it said look listen i am going to take this you leave me the tiniest little space and i am going to be in there and that's what he's done today as well yeah. exactly that he took that opportunity and then he also had a big battle with Dwayne mckeever the year before and these two guys well they had some contacts there was some paint trading and there was some smack talk from both of these guys and now they get the opportunity to do it again because this year Dwayne McKeever was going to go back to Drift Masters European Championship and he was going to drop and try and touch championship. Oliver Evans was going to go as part of Team UK and UK and try and drive against McKeever. The opportunity was there, COVID-19 stopped it. So what did they do? They said let's go to Driftland, BDC round one, and let's muscle it out. Let's see what we can do. McKeever, your 2018 British Drift Champion, takes on your current and defending British Drift Championship. It is Northern Ireland versus Wales right now. They come smashing through the gears and down, and McKeever fires that car in, and Evans is right with him. As Evans shortcuts the circuit, shallows up the angle, now tries to stick it to the door, but Evans has no answer for McKeever right now. McKeever plants the throttle to the floor and accelerates away, but he gets very wide, almost falls off track as he fires into outside zone eight, and Evans has nothing. Evans has no answer for McKeever across the line. That was, that was, I mean, that was incredibly exciting, but incredibly boring at the same time. I mean, where, where was Evans? He had absolutely no answer for that at all whatsoever. An incredible disappointment for me because I, I was so certain that he was just going to pull it out the bag like he has all day long and just just, just throw it on the door of Dwayne McKeever and we were going to see sparks flying, wheels everywhere and tyre marks up the side of, of doors. But... Uh, yeah, sadly, we did not get that in. No, we didn't get it. And listen, I, I told the live stream crew, I told them this morning, they said, we've never seen Dwayne McKeever drive before. What's he like? And I said, listen, imagine getting every firework <laughs> in the yeah. world, putting it in a drift car and sending it around a track because it is explosive. This guy is explosive. And when he needs to make it happen, he turns it on. He gives it 110%. Evans now knows the pace in that car. He's sitting there thinking, Wow, that man is no joke. He is not slow, and I know I haven't got the pace. That means he has got the pace. That means he's going to glue it to my door. Here we go. Evans fires in, and McKeever right with him as McKeever crosses across the back end of the S40, and McKeever is right with him as he pushes him up into outside zone four. McKeever teasing Oliver Evans as they come into outside zone five. Now Evans takes a look across, and he can see that big white S13 breathing down the neck of the S14 as McKeever pushes up onto the door, wheel to wheel across the line, McKeever and Evans. If that doesn't settle the beef between McKeever and Evans, I don't know what is. He just lit, that was a, a masterclass in how you should chase. That that was that was a stamp in the book. Yeah. That was, listen. <laughs> Me, I won that one, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was a stamp in the book. That was McKeever saying to Evans, buddy, I'll see you in Europe in 2021 and you better have your big boy pants on because that's how we drive out there. Oliver Evans, though, building a new car, maybe he can come back with something uh, well, a little bit faster next time. he needs to bring the special sauce because look at Evans. He, he shakes his head. He, he says, knows. what was that? That was, Yeah, fair enough, he says, buddy. Fair enough. They shake hands. <laughs> McKeever gives him a little push. 
And Evans knows, he says, that, that was a fair battle. That was a fair battle. That's what we wanted. And that is how it all plays out. Well, there we go. Judges, we need to go to you. Do you have... Oh, they've, they've already gone. They've gone. They're too excited. They've left the tower. They're like, wow, that was incredible. Well, I've just been handed a piece of paper and it does say that they do have a decision. That means we're going to go to the podium. Wow. Right, let me see if I can find Ollie Evans. Let's have a little chat with this young man. How are you finding today? Oh, it was really good. It's good. It's good to finally get back. You know, yeah. it's been such a break between last year and then now, and you can kind of tell like nobody really knows what we were doing at first, and then I think, but the final battles there were just wild, weren't they? Well, that's it. I think everyone was like speechless and just in awe of watching the door on door action. It was just absolutely amazing. Anything you're changing for the next round? Um, I'm gonna paint me bumper because Barker drove into the back of me on the start line but yeah that's, other than that i think that's it well uh, I, mean, I think i think you came out quite well uh, barker's missing both doors <laughs> so um and it's already signed as well yeah so yeah kevin kevin quinn has signed luke barker's door just to say look i was here so yeah we have now got the signature of kevin quinn on that door the second step on the podium goes to a champion of the bdc Former champion. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Oliver Evans. That means your round one winner goes to the 2018 British Drift Champion, Dwayne McKeever. And there we have it, Mike. Wow. The pro podium done. Dwayne McKeever does it. Qualifies second, takes top step on the podium. Oliver Evans, he takes second step. And your first place qualifier, Luke Barker, takes third step on a podium. What a day, what a weekend. Absolutely fantastic. And I mean, the driving this weekend has just been absolutely phenomenal. It's been a pleasure to be. It's been absolutely extraordinary. My voice, it, it's, on the, it's on the edge of its <laughs> of going. You haven't quite lost just it. just about held on. It. Ladies and gentlemen, what a day, what a weekend. Your first place pro champion round one win. Dwayne McKeever, second place goes to Oliver Evans. Third place, Luke Barker. <laughs> <laughs> From me... Everybody here at the BDC, Mike in the tower, everybody behind the scenes of the live stream crew, we wish you all well. Stay safe, wash your hands. We'll see you at Three Sisters Race Circuit from us. Goodbye.